For some of us, it's an exciting thing to look up to in the future. For others, its rapid evolution in recent years might even be a bit scary. Either way, this whole AI story sounds incredible. There is even this theory that looks at artificial intelligence and predicts it will go through seven stages of evolution. Let's look at each one and figure out where AI stands at this very moment. The first stage in the overall history of artificial intelligence is one called rule-based. It sounds basic because, well, it is. But these first iterations of AI were the bedrock of its evolution. They are still the silent heroes that help keep your toast from burning or your car running smoothly on cruise control. How these systems function is they've got a strict rulebook to follow, making them consistent, but not super adaptable. Rule-based systems have been developed since the 50s, but these days, they are a lot more complex. Let's take the next step. Ever visited a website and was invited to interact with a chatbot? That's another type of AI hard at work for you. These more evolved systems are designed to be aware of their context. They are still based 100% on human input, but they can be taught a new trick or two. That's because they can tailor their responses to better fit the situation. Whether they're lending a digital hand in customer service or advising on your next big purchase on a shopping website, their evolution is continuous. The next step of AI on our list is even more specialized. Think of smart computer systems that can become experts in a particular area. They can even be better than humans in some fields, mostly because of their speed, because they can gulp down heaps of information extremely fast. On that note, you might have heard of a game called Go. It's similar to chess, but with many more moves. I mean, some say there are more possible moves in Go than there are atoms in our universe. Well, there was this computer system called AlphaGo. It's like a little student. It had some basic rules to learn Go and a simple aim to win. And while it did make a few mistakes here and there, humans were there to guide it. In 2016, AlphaGo met its most challenging opponent. It had to play against Lee Sadal, a famed champion of the game. Surprisingly, AlphaGo won with a score of 4 to 1. Soon enough, AlphaGo Zero was developed. The difference was this iteration of the software was a self-learner. Scientists practically gave it a puzzle to solve without the picture on the box. No human help, no nudges. It had to rely merely on its own brain power. So AlphaGo Zero became a Go-watching enthusiast. It looked at thousands of games and came up with interesting strategies all by itself. And then the big face-off happened. AlphaGo Zero versus AlphaGo. The result should come as no surprise. The second version did win, but with a score of 100 to 0. All of this shows the amazing stuff machines can do when they try to think like us on a giant scale. But here's where they fail. These types of AI machines are like one-trick ponies. For example, if AlphaGo Zero tried to learn something new, it'd forget all about playing Go. Stage number four includes types of AI that, from the outside, look like they're genuinely thinking, or at least are becoming pretty good at mimicking the human brain process. They aren't just playing by the rules or remembering stuff. These systems can read your favorite book, for instance, and they won't just scan through it, but truly grasp the plot and even try to guess why the characters are doing what they're doing. It's not just about literature, though. They can even try peeking into business numbers and predicting where the money trends might head. Maybe even giving you some cool tips on where to invest. Even further up the scale is a little thing called Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. Experts believe some of the current systems available online are just starting to reach this stage. These types of software should, in theory, think like us humans. So if you throw a random task its way, it says to itself, no worries, I got this, and finds a way to solve the problem. Basically, AGI aims to do pretty much anything we can do. Now, remember, when it comes to AI, in the grand scheme of things, we're merely starting out. So it's hard to think of an exact definition for artificial general intelligence. That's why a lot of experts have their own take on what AGI really means. Computer scientists might say our human intelligence comes from setting and achieving goals. Should AI software learn to do that, it's comparable to the human experience. Meanwhile, 
Some psychology experts think being human is all about adapting to new stuff and staying alive. If you look at it this way, AI software still has a long way to go. With this following stage of AI development, we're starting to peek into the future. These theoretical software systems are called ASI, standing for Artificial Superintelligence. They'd act like extremely smart computers, capable of thinking better and faster than any human genius. We're not sure about all the amazing things this kind of tech could do, but think about it. It might help us solve some of the world's biggest challenges, from medical to financial. This type of AI could even come up with brand new scientific discoveries. Think of awesome ways to run our economies or create entirely new ways of leading communities. It's hard to tell when this kind of tech will be available. Many experts are asking themselves the same question, but most agree we're probably not seeing it pop up in the next 10 years. In the meantime, there are a lot of sci-fi movies out there exploring this idea, just in case you're curious. If AI ever reaches its final form, it will become something called singularity. In this potential future, computers will become smarter than us. They'll be so capable that they might upgrade themselves instantaneously. So much so that we won't be able to keep up with them anymore. This idea is still out of reach for now. But with all the cool new AI stuff going on these days, people think the singularity will surely happen. Some specialists have even guessed that by 2045, AI singularity will become part of our world. Hopefully, the people making these AIs will sneak in some safety features along the way. There are a lot of other things to consider. For instance, if AI machines ever become this smart, could we put the brakes on them? Opinions are mixed here too. Big companies want to be part of this AI evolution. No one wants to be left behind. National authorities also want to be leading the way when it comes to artificial intelligence. So even if everyone agrees there are dangerous things to consider, AI is a big deal these days. So pausing all these projects isn't a popular idea. Some have suggested having an off switch for each type of AI. Just in case things get wild, we could hit the button and shut things down. We can't be sure the AI will like that plan. It might become so intelligent that it could find a way to dodge the switch. Let's stay positive though. With the help of different types of AI, we saw magic in mundane tasks like real-time language translations. Everyday objects like watches and fridges got smarter, predicting our needs. Teams of robots working in unison began sprouting everywhere, tackling everything from easy cleanups to sophisticated repairs and even surgeries. AI started stepping into creative arenas too, brainstorming designs for shoes, gadgets, and even gourmet recipes. We used to see self-driving cars only in movies. They now moved from sci-fi pages to our streets. It's time not just to marvel, but to also actively participate. We humans have the pen and the paint. Let's ensure the AI portrait we paint is vibrant and serves all of humanity. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.